Hello everyone, Atticus Schaefer here, and I am coming at you guys to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Today, we are going to talk about the truth of Christmas. I've been going to the mall recently with my mom, and we've been looking at a bunch of sales and all the, all the fun stuff that usually goes on at shopping centers at Christmas time. And after walking into a candle store, I was recognized by the people that worked there. They were fans of the show, and they were talking to me for a bit while Mom was doing her candle shopping. And upon completion of our conversation, and um, Mom completing her purchase, the person who was working there found it very difficult to leave with a greeting because she was trying to figure out how to, you know, the happy holidays and everything like that. And I wanted to ease her heart, and because she was struggling, I said, don't worry, we're Christian. You can say Merry Christmas. And even after telling her that, she found it difficult to utter the words, Merry Christmas. I'm telling you this story because I find it very disappointing that we live in a society today where we have stripped all of the magic, all of the concept of the infinite out of everything to do with our daily life. Have you noticed, and maybe this is just in my area, but when I turn on the TV, there are no channels airing Charlie Brown Christmas, It's a Wonderful Life, Little Drummer Boy. They're not showing or declaring or talking anything. That re about anything that references God or Jesus or angels or any of the like. I find that to be very sad. So today, I would very much like to remind and encourage all of you of the Christ part of Christmas. I have here today my uh, a family Bible. It's all, as you can see, it's all worn and tattered, which means it has been well used. This comes from my mom's side of the family. Uh, this was actually the first Bible she ever studied. And if you would, you can even pause the video, get your own Bible, and follow along with me. But we're going to just read an excerpt out of chapter 2 of Luke. We're going to start here at verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Many, many, many years ago, Almighty God, who knew of the great ravine that was formed between us, his children, his human children, his creation, and him, due to sin, and knowing this, in his abundant grace, love, and mercy, he took himself and put himself into the fullest form of humility and frailty in placing himself into the position of human infancy and, quite frankly, the frailty of humanness as a whole. And then he lived his life here on earth as one of us, but living perfectly, so that way years later, he would be crucified on a cross 
being the one and only sacrifice needed to atone for all of our sins, yours and mine, and then three days later being resurrected as a living Savior, a risen King. And now whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This same grace and love and mercy that prompts Peter later on in the New Testament, in 1 Peter chapter 1, to boldly declare, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith, unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Let's put the Christ back into Christmas. Don't be afraid to say Merry Christmas. When you say Merry Christmas, say it with reverential love for Almighty God, who loved you so much that He came to this earth in frailty and humility for you. And in the words of Linus, that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a blessed and happy New Year. <laughs>